Hey, in this screencast I want to get started with Easy UML. Well, this is a plugin that's been worked on for years now at the University of Belgrade in Serbia. If you don't see it in the newly added or updated list, just go to the search box in the bottom left and you'll find Easy UML. And you can click the download button and save the file. And, well, I won't save it. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to extract the content to a folder I have on disk called Easy UML. And then go into NetBeans and to Plugins, to Downloaded, and I'll say Add Plugins. And here are the NBM files. Click install, click next, and I have installed the Easy UML plugin. Now let's see, we have here a new UML category and class diagram. So let's say um, I'll put it into this folder uh, account diagram. Click finish. So we need to create in there a diagram from the UML category. So here is account. Now I'm going to have a account interface. Give it a name, account. And I'll put it into a package org domain account. I'll just copy this because I'll need it again. So here it is. And then I'll create a class that connects to that one. And so it implements account. Okay. And this one I'll call a checking account. And then I'll create another one, second class, connect this one to the interface, and this one I'll call savings account. Um, let's say in here we'll add a method um, deposit. Uh, so maybe make deposits and we have float and some amount ah, so this is wrong expecting return type name argument okay so void untitled method so let's go back void and make deposit Let's say that it will return true or false depending on whether it succeeds or fails. So float amount, there it is. Okay, so we have one method. Um, now we are ready. So this one is in org domain account. That's where the class will be generated. This one as well, and this one too. And there's much more we can do. You can see we can create relationships. We can connect these back for various reasons. You can see it's quite quite a lot of complex relationships can be defined. So it's perfect for learning about UML at schools and universities and colleges and things like that. So let's say now I create an account manager and I click finish. So here's my account manager. And now I can right click inside the um, this diagram here and say um, well export this image which is also useful of course but now we can say generate code and I select my account manager and I click OK and we now have an account with our method and here we can implement the abstract method and there we can implement the abstract method so that's it. The, all the basics that you need for 
definitely for teaching UML to students in a class. Um, class diagrams can be created. It's specifically focused on class diagrams. And also you can see that you can um, generate code directly from it. Um, also, the symbols that you see are all the correct UML symbols that you'll read about in textbooks and that you'll be using in the class. And now they're all available in the context um, of NetBeans. A perfect teaching tool as well as a code generation tool. And what's also really nice is you can reverse. So we can reverse engineer from here our diagram as well. So both ways work. Perfect uh, work done by the Open Source Development Center in Belgrade, Serbia. Thank you very much, Zoran, and the other developers working there over many years on this project.